A sister says, I want to ask if someone urinates and then flushes and then starts to clean their private parts. There is a chance the water inside the toilet touches them while cleaning. Does that have any impact on your purity? What if we had not flushed? A lot of these issues, cleansing yourself, washing yourself after urinating, defecating, a lot of these issues are a fertile ground for shaitan to mess up with your mind. The devil comes and it's his playground to mess up with you. So what to do? First of all, today's toilet seats are not designed in a way that could be helpful to ensure that nothing comes back to you. But generally speaking, we have guidelines. We have rules in Islam. The default that everything is pure until proving otherwise. So if you flush, the water that remains inside is clean, is pure. There's no najasa. All the najasa, all the impurities have gone down the drain. So this is pure. What about if I did not flush? I'm using a lot of water to wash myself. And I sometimes feel that there might have been some splashes. Might have. As long as it is might have, this means that the possibility that it might not have. So it's a 50-50. Whenever there's doubt, always implement the rule of certainty. What is certain? That this is pure. That this is pure. That this is pure. Unless proven otherwise. What do you mean proven otherwise? There's a brown stain on my soap. Yeah, but is it najasa or is it oud and perfume? Well, I don't know. You don't know? It's pure. It might be as long as it's not 100% certain that it is a najasa, it is pure. Take a smell. Wow, this stinks. This is najasa because now you are certain because of one of the characteristics, which is the smell of a najasa. End of story. So if you are the OCD type, a person with obs obsessive compulsive uh, uh, disorder, and everything around you you feel is impure, in this case, apply the rule of certainty. But if you are not, you're a normal person and usually you never get these thoughts, and once every blue moon you have a strong feeling that you might have splashed najasa back, back to you. Well, are you sure that the water itself is najis? If it was flushed, then it's not najis. And whatever, whenever you clean yourself and wash your private part, the amount of water that goes in with the amount of water in the toilet seat makes the najasa dissolve and not apparent. So the splashes are pure. But if you're doubtful, just wash it. Wash whatever area in your body you feel that water might have spoiled it or soiled it or uh, uh, splashed najasa onto it. And this is, uh, uh, does the job. But the default is, no, it is pure and don't work your mind a lot on this.